Hey Gearheads, Jeff with Gear Report here, the Project Humvee Battle Wagon to give you the rundown on the Scope Coat Flak Jacket. So let's start with the video that I shot a little over a year ago when I first unboxed the Scope Coat Flak Jacket. So let's look at that video and then when that's done, we'll come back and I'll tell you what we found in a little bit more than a year of use. Hey Gear, it's Jeff with Gear Report. Here at the range to show you a product from Scope Coat. They call this the Flak Jacket. It's model XP6. Uh, this is an extra large, I believe. No, they call this a large. And we're going to see if it fits on this uh, Sightmark uh, TDM 3 to, excuse me, 5 to 30 power scope. Um, I've taken the sunshade off the front of the Sightmark. So, let's get the flat jacket out of the package. What we've got, really, it's a big neoprene sleeve that uh, opens up on the inside. All right. This on this front. There we go. I kind of like that. I think this one uh, may actually be for a slightly smaller scope. This seems a little bit snug. I think I brought the wrong one out here to show you today, but we can still see that although it's stretched kind of tight, we can still see the, the concept how this works here. It's a nice probably a little over an eighth of an inch thick neoprene rubber that just snaps right over the top. So, you know, this is what I have been using. I've always found these annoying trying to get the, uh, get everything to stay on and not pop off. This ought to give it uh, some nice padding along the, the body of the scope as well. So there you have it. This is the Scope Coat XP6 Flat Jacket. You can see I had pretty high expectations for the product. Everything seemed to fit well. I can tell you that a uh, year and a half of hard use, throwing it in the back of the Humvee, carrying it out in the woods when we're hunting, carrying it to the range to shoot, uh, they're a little dirty. So you can tell they've been used. They got some stains and smudges on them, but there's no rips, there's no tears. None of the threads have pulled loose. All in all, for what they cost, these are you know, unless you're using a $20 scope from Walmart, which I usually don't recommend, you're probably going to be doing yourself a favor. Go check them out. I'll put a link down below where you can get them at Amazon. Some things I learned. Number one, measure your scope, all right? You can see this fits on and comes off pretty easily. And it is exactly the right length. It fits perfectly, all right? This Vortex Diamond back. Uh, 4 to 12 by 40 is the perfect size for that one right there. Uh, we've got kind of a generic cheap scope on here just to show what a little larger one would look like. And you see, from a length standpoint, we're almost right on the money here. This could actually be slightly longer, I think, for that particular scope. But, but it still worked pretty well. It's a little more snug putting it on and taking it off, but it's secure, it's not going anywhere. I'd rather have it slightly small than slightly large where it might fall off. Measure, compare against the size chart on the website, and be sure you order the right size. If you do that, remember to use it. Don't lose it, that's also a danger. These colors are uh, easy to blend in with the environment sometimes, so don't take it off and set it down and forget about it because it blends in with the, with the colors that are around you. Uh, that, that's the big risk really, is you get the wrong size or you lose it because the color makes it blend in. Other than that, th this is a pretty safe bet. It's going to protect your scope. I've not had any scope damage, scratches, dings, smudges on the lenses, anything like that. Haven't had the turrets get bumped and knock anything, you know, uh, off center. So I've been very pleased with these. They've done exactly what the manufacturer, what the brand said they would. I'm going to give them two thumbs up, not just one, two thumbs up. We're going to call this uh, four and a half out of five on the rating just because I've never given a five, you know. Someday someone's going to earn it. These are good. They're really good. So they get a four and a half. Go get some. We'll see you at the range.
please don't forget to check us out on all the social media platforms. Give us a like, subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube, it'd mean a lot to me if you go ahead and click the subscribe button and then the little bell beside it, that's for notifications. So when we post new videos, you'll know about those. We got a lot of stuff coming that you don't want to miss.